Why does our heart beat faster when we feel threatened? In stressful situations, a part of our brain called the amygdala generates a response of fear or danger and sends it to the hypothalamus. Now, the hypothalamus activates our fight-or-flight system, which in turn causes the release of adrenaline. Adrenaline increases our breathing rate, elevates our blood pressure, and most importantly, it makes our heart beat faster than normal. This allows more oxygen and glucose to reach our cells through blood, giving us a burst of energy and thus making us capable to fight or flight. Hmm. Do plants really poop? Firstly, some plants get rid of their waste material by peeling off their bark, as well as by shedding off their leaves. Secondly, some plants get rid of their waste material in the form of secretions, such as latex, gum, resin, etc. Thirdly, some plants remove their excess water through tiny pores present on the margins of their leaves. This process is called guttation. Lastly, carnivorous plants like Venus flytrap catch insects, extract their juices, and then open up, thus allowing the waste material to fall off. Hmm. What causes people to be allergic? An allergy occurs when our immune system mistakenly identifies a normal innocuous substance as a harmful intruder. Hence, it produces antibodies to kill the intruder and in the process gives rise to itching, runny nose, watery eyes, etc. Thus causing an allergy. Hmm. Now, according to hygiene hypothesis, if children are kept in extremely clean environments and not exposed to germs at all, then their immune system fails to develop properly and instead starts attacking harmless substances, thus causing an allergy. What exactly is altitude sickness? I think, I think, I think it might be a burger or a pizza. Oh, chump hum. We can develop altitude sickness if we climb rapidly. Our body is not able to adjust to reduced oxygen, as well as changes in air pressure. Hmm. The mildest form of acute mountain sickness, or AMS, typically occurs above 2,500 meters, with symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, dizziness, etc. It can further progress to high-altitude pulmonary huh? edema, thus making it difficult to breathe, and further to high-altitude cerebral edema, huh? as in swelling of the brain. The best way of preventing altitude sickness is to increase elevation by no more than 300 meters per day. Hmm. Like humans, do animals also dream? Humans dream during their rapid eye movement stage of sleep or REM sleep. Hmm. In a research, the brain activity pattern of a rat running for some cheese and the one during its REM sleep was found to be similar. Hmm. Moreover, a singing bird's brain activity while singing and while in its REM sleep also showed similarity, thus indicating that perhaps animals dream of their daily activities. Hmm. What exactly huh? is cholesterol? I think, I think, it is probably an alien. Oh, chumpum! Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance. It is present in all the cells of our body. Cholesterol helps in building cells, vitamins, as well as hormones. Our liver makes all the cholesterol needed by us. But sometimes, our eating habits can force our liver to make more cholesterol than necessary. As a result, there is too much cholesterol in our blood. It combines with other substances and forms a thick, hard deposit on the inside of our arteries. As a result, our arteries become narrow, increasing the risk of heart disease or stroke. Hmm. What is the huh? science behind a jellyfish's sting? No idea. I bunked all my science classes. Oh, chum pum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house mini needle-like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Hmm. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. 
This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. Why do humans have a belly button? Simple. To do belly dance. Oh, chump pum. When a baby is growing inside a mother's womb, it is not possible for the baby to eat food like us. The umbilical cord carries nutrients from the mother to the baby. Also, it takes away the waste which the baby does not need anymore. Now, when the baby is born, it does not need the umbilical cord anymore. Hence, the doctor cuts the umbilical cord, leaving behind a tiny stump. This stump falls off after a few weeks. This is how we get our belly button. Do blind people really dream? Nobody can dream. Only Chum Pum can dream. Oh, Chum Pum. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any visual information. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. How can some people predict rain? Simple. By using their sixth sense. Oh, chum pum. Lightning usually occurs just before the beginning of heavy rainfall. Nitrogen and oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere are split by the lightning bolts. This eventually leads to the production of ozone. Now, strong blowing winds carry this ozone downward along with them. Ozone is a very sharp smelling gas. When a person smells this ozone, it helps him predict the rain. Hmm. Does an octopus have nine brains? Yes, but it doesn't use any of them. Huh? Oh, chum pum! An octopus has a decentralized nervous system, with majority of its neurons residing in its arms. These neurons help the arms to independently taste, touch, and control basic motions without consulting the actual brain in its head. Thus, it gives an impression of having nine brains, when in reality, it only has one. Hmm. Why do astronauts wear orange and white spacesuits? Simple. Because Chum Pum looks super in orange and white. Oh, Chum Pum. The orange spacesuit is called the Advanced Crew Escape Suit. This suit is worn during the launching or the landing of the space shuttle. If there is any malfunction during this period and the astronaut decides to escape, then the orange color is the most visible against the blue sky and the sea. The white spacesuit is called the Extra Vehicular Activities Suit. This suit is worn when astronauts are working outside the space shuttle. Huh? Firstly, the white color reflects most of the sun's extreme heat as compared to other colors. Also, it is easy to spot this color against the vast black expanse of space. Mm. 